I have installed the Gensim library in the sample hello world project and when I am trying to run this code, I am getting the error and the error is cannot import name trio from this scipy. So we are getting this error because this particular method, this trio method is deprecated in the latest version of scipy. So to fix this issue, we will have to downgrade the version of scipy. So first we will click on this interpreter option which is present in the bottom right corner. For you this interpreter name will be different depending on the configured python interpreter for your project. Now once we click on this, we will get a list of multiple options here. And among these we will select this interpreter settings which will open up this type of pop-up window and here this python interpreter will be selected already which is under this current project name and for me it is this hello world project and here in the right side we have all the packages installed for the current python interpreter and among these we have the scipy as well which has this 1.14.0 version installed which is the latest version and it is creating the actual issue so to downgrade this we will double click on this which will open up this new pop-up window where the scipy will be selected already. Now in the right side of the screen we have this option to specify the version of scipy so we will enable this first and from this drop down menu we will select the older version so we will select this 1.12.0 and be careful here because if you even choose this 1.13.0 then also you will get the error so we have to select this 1.12.0 or any older version than this now we will click on this install package and once we have this message package scipy installed successfully we will close this window from here and from here also we can verify that the latest version is this one 1.14.0 but we have installed this 1.12.0 now finally we will click on this ok let's try to run the code again so right click and then run hello let's wait for some time great we did not get any error this time let me know if this video was helpful to you so we did not get any error here it means the import was successful now we are all set to use the gensim library for various nlp related tasks